Hello everyone, it's Matt M. Welcome back to my channel. I make clinical laboratory science content videos every single week and if you are interested in that type of content, then consider subscribing to my channel, ring that bell to get notified, and yeah, let's get started! So if you have seen the title of this video already, these are my tips on how I passed the board exam and I've gotten some suggestions on the comments on previous videos saying that I should share my tips on how I passed the board exam. I didn't top the board exam but I passed so I guess my tips matter for some. So if you still want my tips, then here you go. So this video will be divided into sections, pre-board exam tips, tips that I did during the board exam, and then tips that I did after the board exams. So let's get into it. Let's go! <laughs> pre-board exam tip number one, it's a lot of time for the Lord. If you're a spiritual person like me, you can start a prayer habit. I started a prayer habit and I remember this specific time during my review in Manila because my parents are in our province and I was in Manila reviewing for the board exam so we were far apart and my parents would usually call once a week and then they would ask how I'm doing, how's the review, stuff like that. Just normal parent stuff and then I told them that I was super stressed, I was super anxious, I feel like I don't want to take the board exam and then my mom she asked me if I wanted a prayer and I said of course I'm always down for a prayer. It just hits different if you know someone you love prays for you and then you know that they want you to succeed and that was a very, that was a cute moment. <laughs> Thank you, mom. Love you. So we prayed over FaceTime, which was kind of, I guess, weird for some people, but we normally do this. So while reviewing for the board exam, I also picked up the habit of reading my devotional. If you guys know me, I rarely read books because I guess I just didn't have the time. But during the board exam season, I don't know what happened or what got into me, but there was this moment where I had time for reading my devotional. So what I normally do, I read a short devotional and then I start reading my review notes or my, my reference books. I cannot show you my devotional that I read during that time because I think I forgot it in the Philippines. But this is my 2020 devotional. This is actually gifted to us in the hospital that I am working for. I read this before I start my day so that I have a daily dose of positivity. It's super nice because it's just like super short. This is one page and this is your devotional for the day already. So I remember when I was third year in university. I read this amazing devotional. The title was Thy Will Be Done and I guess it struck me so much that I made a mnemonic out of it. So it's T-W-B-D and starting third year until the board exam season, I already picked up the habit of writing my mantra down on my questionnaires. So let's say this is the questionnaire for the board exam and what I normally do is at the back of the questionnaire, I would write down the mnemonic T-W-B-D. It worked for me so maybe you can start making your own mantra. I have also heard from other people that they sing their nerves away. I am not a good singer and if it gets you through a stressful situation then I recommend you to sing your nerves away. Some people do yoga, some people do meditation. Do what works for you. I am not saying that this is the only way for you to de-stress during the board exam but find ways to de-stress so that you can have a positive vibe while reviewing for the board exam. So second tip is to visualize your goal. I said this on my ASCPI video already. I will put the link up here. So to visualize your goal, you have to write down a goal that you want to achieve and put it on a piece of paper and stick it onto something that you will see every single day. So it could be your bathroom mirror, on your wall, on your nightstand. I don't know if I'm doing this well, <laughs> but it looks something like this. So I wrote down like some inspiring words like kaya muto. I guess a rough translation in English would be like you can do this. And then I wrote down my goal which is Matt M RMT and also to pass the ASCP and then I wrote down the hashtag RMT by March 2019. I wrote down a Bible verse which helped me be inspired while taking the board exam. Jeremiah 29 11, very good verse. If you don't know it, just look it up. The only downside on using a sticky note is that there's a high chance that you can lose it. But a good friend of mine gifted me this 2019 planner and it's super helpful because my goal is written right there. It says, 
Matt, Jobin M, RMT, and ASCPI. This personalized planner, which I am so thankful for. She just knows me super well. I guess she noticed that I keep writing this and I keep losing this sticky note. So she gifted me something that will help me visualize my goal every single time. If you can see your goal every single time, it will make you understand the reason why you are burning the midnight oil and why you are studying so hard to pass this board exam so that you can just take it once and then I guess start adult. <laughs> which is not fun by the way adulting is hard but it's an exciting step in life my third tip is to apply for the board exam soonest and if you are 100% decided on taking the board exam by decided I mean this by not based on your parents pressuring you or peer pressure it's okay not to be ready for the board exam and it's okay to review and not take it yet if you plan on applying last minute then chances are the lines are super long because let's face it during that time the medical technology licensure exam is not the only licensure exam PRC is handling it's really hard trying to cram all the requirements and applying for the board exam because you don't want that extra stress you are already reviewing for the board exam and that is enough stress and pressure for you but I guess it would be very hypocritical of me not to say that I applied last minute because that was the time I felt like I was ready to take the board exam but but I already had my requirements with me. I was just not ready to apply. I already collected all the requirements, placed it in one envelope. It was there, ready, ready to be applied for. <laughs> By the way, if you're applying for the board exam, you have to schedule an appointment with them first so you don't just go barge in into PRC and be like, I want to apply for the medical technology licensure exam. What you will do is go online and schedule an appointment and then once you have your appointment schedule, you have to take a screenshot of like the barcode something thingy and then you have to go to PRC and then you can apply so for the requirements for the board exam I will make a separate video about it because I'm sorry I don't want to make this video too long for my fourth tip it's to enroll in a review center I cannot stress this enough I reviewed with the review center and most of the people taking the board exam will enroll in a review center might I tell you that slots are limited so try applying for the review as soon as possible if you you plan on reviewing with some of your friends or your batchmates from college then you should apply together so that as much as possible you'll be in the same batch I will put a picture here of me in 2018 or some somewhat early 2019 in a review center. If you guys don't know yet, I reviewed with Pioneer Educational Review Center and Lemar Review Hub. I would link both review centers on the description box below. If you want my opinion on which one's better, the better choice would be... Tip number five for the pre-board exam tip is to make a doable review schedule. So this was my 2019 planner and then what I did was, I don't think I have it here anymore. Before I had one piece of paper and then I wrote down all the books and reviewers that I wanted to read and accomplish before the board exam. Make it doable. That is the most important part because you know the amount of time you have to study for the board exam. If you put in and try to cram all the information in, then then that will just put unnecessary pressure in your head and then it might give you more anxiety before taking the board exam. Just remember to make your review schedule doable. Do not make it too hard that you will not accomplish anything but do not make it too easy that you are not learning anything. Just a quick tip, if the board exam is approaching, try refreshing your basics because what we think about when we study for the board exam is we should get into the nitty gritty details. Don't forget they will also ask the basic questions and some Sometimes the basic questions are your lifelines within the board exam. Also, let's say if it's one week before the board exam, don't forget to readjust your body clock because I am a person who studies late at night. Usually, try sleeping earlier than your usual. If you're used to sleeping at, say, 3 in the morning, then try readjusting it, let's say, 12 on the first night and then, let's say, 11 and then 10 on the next night so that you can be adjusted again before the board exam happens. The board exam usually has a call time that's super early and if you're late for the board exam then you are not allowed to take it you will wait for the next board exam season again so one day before the board exam I had a strict no studying rule so this might not work for you 
because some people are natural born crammers but I had my review schedule planned and I know that I should not be thinking about studying and I should not be anxious the day before the board exam. Comment down below if you want to see a productivity video how I use my planner now as a working clinical laboratory scientist. So tip number six is to make a mnemonics notebook. I have started my mnemonics notebook since I was third year in college. I will put a picture right here. What I did was I compiled all the mnemonics that I know. I make crazy stories, weird acronyms out of the things we have to memorize. Some of the mnemonics I got from the book Clinical Laboratory Science, A Bottom Line Approach by Patsy Giroux. I recommended this on my ASCPI books and I also suggested this on my Philippine Board Exam books and reviewers. If you want to check that video out, I will put a link up here. I guess it helped me because I know that all my mnemonics are just stored into this one location and I know that I can easily grab it. While reviewing for the board exam, there would be days that you're just super fed up about reading your notes, reading reference books, information overload. That's a thing. I experienced it while reviewing for the board exam. When I was experiencing that, I would just sit down, breathe in, breathe out, and then I would just start and read my mnemonics notebook first and then I would just read some mnemonics until I'm already in the mood to study again. You cannot force yourself to be in the mood to study. This is a helpful tip because you're like resting but you're also being productive while you're resting. Tip number seven, don't forget to reward your small victories. Sometimes there would be victorious moments while reviewing for the board exam. I remember that I topped a test and I was just so elated. I actually even like messaged my parents and said that, oh, I topped this exam. As much as possible while I was reviewing for the board exam, I was avoiding sweets because I don't want to be sick. That's the last thing I want to happen. I got some boba. That was my first time having some boba after a long while. And my go-to guilty pleasure food is always some french fries. And I was just super happy because I topped the mock test. It's important that while you're reviewing for the board exam, it's not just about focusing on the end goal of passing the board exam, but don't forget to also reward yourself along the way. Hopefully, you will not burn yourself out. Remember to de-stress once in a while. If you're feeling tired and you're just not up to study, just remember you are valid. Take a break. Maybe you'll be in the mood to study later on. And tip number eight is to sleep. Sleep is important because you don't want to feel like your eyes are weighing down while you are answering that board exam. Wait a second. I don't think I'm dressed for this situation. So let me just... Okay much better. I don't think there is a much better way of talking about sleep than being in my jammies. On the night before the board exam, it's hard not to feel anxious about it. It's hard not to not think about it. But acknowledge that it's happening, but try not to think about it so much. Sometimes the best activity that you can do to help your mind calm down is to just sleep. Do not sabotage yourself with negativity. Surround yourself with positivity and know that you can ace this exam, you can pass this exam, and you might even top this exam. So break a leg for choosing to take the board exam right now.